Actually, do today. Mm, yeah, I got an idea. Let's do an experiment. The experiment is: Do eggs sink in water or they float in water? Um, let's try it out. Here are tables. This experiment: We need a jar of water. We need two eggs and a cup of salt. You need a lot of salt. Okay, so let's try it out by dropping the egg into the jar. Oh, the egg sinks. So what should we do for the egg to float in the water? Hmm. What should we do for the egg to float in water, Akshay? Okay, brother, I'll tell you how that floats in the water. Okay, brother, let's add some salt into the water. Okay, that's interesting. So, let's add 10 spoons of salt to the water. Let's mix it. Okay, so I mixed it up well. Let's try it out. What? The egg is floating. Can you see the egg? It's floating. Let's try it out by pushing it in again. It's floating again. Why did it float when we added salt to the water? Mm. I got it. The egg sank in the first time because the density of the water was less than the density of the egg. The second time we added salt to the water so that the density of the water increases the more than the egg. That's why the egg floats in the second time. So what did you understand by this experiment? Any object to float in water, it needs equal or lesser density than the water to float. So, in this case, we added a lot of salt for the water density to increase. I think now you people understand why we float in the Dead Sea. Because the Dead Sea has higher concentration of salt. Thank you.